Hi, Glam Fam. Hey, Glam Fam. It is Alexandria and Linwood here. And as you can see, both of us need our hair done, but only one of us is getting our hair done today. So, and it's not me. So, um, we've already shampooed her hair previously. Um, yeah, I just, she is so eloquently showing here. And today, she needed a bit of protein, so today we use the uh, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo and Conditioner in the Shea Moisture line for strength and repair, as you guys can see here. Now, the nice thing about this is it has vegetable protein in it as well as some hydrolyzed rice, hydrolyzed rice protein. Sorry, it's a tongue twister. Um, so that's fantastic for kind of helping to strengthen that hair. Um, and it also has apple cider vinegar, which helps out with detangling the hair because this head of hair here is very prone to tangles, uh, especially since she's high porosity. So even high porosity people need protein too. Um, so we want to, ah, ah, we want to make sure that we are getting all of that taken care of. Lord, I've been frying chicken with my face today. Okay, so, um, we're going to be doing a simple braided style, which I think would be perfect for Christmas. But I'm going to start off by putting in some of the strengthening, uh, leave-in, uh, the strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner from Shea Moisture and their, uh, black castor oil line as well. You having a blast over there? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and get a good dollop of that. Mm. Oh, Jesus. If I don't kill everybody in the room first. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and work some of this through the hair, placing it on through here. Now, the style that I'm going to be doing is a fairly simple braided style. Um, so... I don't know, I think it's simple compared to like some of the more intricate styles that you guys have seen from me on this channel. Let me move my lighting closer so you guys can clearly see what's going on. <laughs> you know, tell them what this child is doing. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna focus that conditioner pretty heavily as well on the ends. Suzanne, I can see you. <laughs> All right, so once we've worked that in, I'm gonna go ahead and part this hair off. Now, in the meantime, she's going to be kept occupied by her Kindle Fire, which is a fantastic tablet for kids. Um, it has been amazing. It keeps her very quiet and entertained, so that way I don't have to worry about a whole ton of degrees of extra, and she's playing her little learning game on there. So we'll get that taken care of. Have a seat, please. Thank you. And I'm gonna go ahead and part this hair off, and then I'll show you what we're doing after. All right, Glam Fam, so I went ahead and sectioned this hair off. Head straight feet. Section this hair off literally from ear to ear on the other side. So what I wanna do is just create like a full circle back here because we're gonna be creating like a braided headband across there. So I haven't detangled the back yet, but I have detangled the front. And I know for a fact that I do wanna go ahead and, hey, hey, what are we doing? I'm trying to get something. No. Uh, I do know for a fact that I want to have two pieces hanging down here as like a little bang, but I want to have them coming off to the side and out of the eyes. So, what I want to do is go ahead and start at the temple, where a recession point is right there. I'm just going to go ahead and take it up and toward the center, just like you guys see there. Okay. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and just pin this hair off to the side. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite side, heading down to the recession point on the opposite side. So I'm literally just creating a triangle there. So as you guys can see here, as you guys can see here, that is the shape that we have going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a braid going down this way. All right, so once I've created that part line, I went ahead and created another triangle within that. So I've got my section for my two braids, head down please. Thank you. I've got my section for my two braids right here. 
that will be getting braided down. Let me move you guys closer. Just like that. So I'm just gonna come in here, like where this one's in, thank you, and braid this down. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, you guys, so now that we have that, I'm just gonna come in just on the inside of that braid there, and we're gonna go ahead and do a braid coming straight back, just like so. Now notice when we get there, we have the braid interrupting us there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop across that braid. Throw that clip on my shirt. I'm gonna hop across that braid and pick up that little triangle right there. Now I'm just gonna make sure my line is nice and clean. Now for everyone who's always asked me about like how do I get my part line straight, a lot of it comes down to like a good comb that has a nice point on it. The rest of it is just going in and like carve out what you need but then go back into your fine details. It makes a big, big, big difference. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm gonna go ahead and braid this piece back just like this, okay? All right, Glam Fam, so I'm just beginning braiding this section back like I told you guys. And you wanna make sure when you are going over the top of the other braid that you're not picking up any hair. Braid without picking anything up completely over that braid and then once you're back over hair, let your hands just naturally begin picking it up. So you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and really basically all we're doing is just the same thing throughout the entire top of this section. Uh, what we want to do is create a bit of rhythmic balance, I would say. So I'm going to basically be doing the same thing across from the left to the right, from the left to the right. And so I start off by crossing one braid, and then you end up crossing two, and then three, and so on and so forth, until there's no more hair to braid. So you guys can see I changed the angle here to kind of hopefully let you see a little bit easier what's going on. And we're just continuing these braids right on back. Um, to me, the thing that's nice is it's a pretty simple way of braiding that creates a nice diamond-like pattern in the top of the head. Um, and I, I just like the way it looks. It's rather unique. So we're just gonna continue this process of crossing over just like we were doing before. And we're just basically going from left to right back to left and so on so forth. Make sure you're working in a pattern because if you don't, your braids will not look as neat when you finish. I understand a lot of people don't think about this when they're crisscrossing, but patterns are incredibly important when it comes down to the neatness of your braids. So yeah, same old same, braiding over these three and then pick up that hair once you get back over it. All right, Glam Pam, so once we finish braiding the front, this is what it's looking like here. So, you know, you can say you gave her some diamonds for Christmas. Anyway, um, so then, look, she got excited when I said diamonds. Um, then we're going to go ahead and braid that part back there. Now, in the back, what I'm going to do, if I can turn her all the way around here and get all of this hair in the shot, is I'm going to go ahead and part her straight down the center. And then we're going to part her straight down the center horizontally. And then from there, what this is going to do is create pie sections for me on that hair. So essentially what I'm going to do is then use that to kind of start braiding outward and into that circle. So I hope that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and start doing it so you guys can kind of catch what I'm doing. And then from there we will continue on going. All right, so we're going to begin this section here by parting directly down the center like I just told you guys. And we're just basically going to be making sure that we got it nice and clean and just pin off one side. From there, do it directly across the center of the back and we're going to begin by braiding basically miniature pie size sections of uh, this back section so we're just going to go from a focal point in the center where that grid meets and just slightly go out doing little acute triangles uh, all the way up now on this top section i'll have five triangles on the bottom section, I'll have four triangles, which means when I'm done braiding, I'll have a total of 18 triangles 
to select from because I'll basically be mirroring mirroring this on the opposite side. So I hope that that makes sense. If not, just please keep an eye on what's going on. I'll show you on this entire left side and then I'm going to skip over the right side because let's be real. If you've watched it once, you know, you should be able to get that. And I'd rather you roll it back than to try to make this like a 30 minute long video. It's just not worth it. So from there, we're just going to go ahead and start on this bottom section here. Notice everything is coming from basically a central focal point. So you want to make sure that you're not braiding this too tight. If you're braiding it incredibly tight, you will notice that you can have some thinning in the center of that focal point just in the hair pulling in different directions. So make sure that you are treating that hair with some love, care, and respect because that's the only way to be, boo. It's the only way to be. All right, you guys, stay tuned. So now you're just gonna repeat this on the opposite side. All right, Glam Fam, so now that we have this back section here braided in the circle, we're just gonna go ahead and start behind her ear here. So I'm gonna grab three of these braids, starting with the bottom one here, just beneath the ear. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we're gonna begin by just taking that and uh, same style of braids, like an underhead braid, like a cornrow all the way around the perimeter. And I'm starting behind the ear because basically what I want to do is gradually build up thickness to where the thickest part is across the top of her head. Now you want to make sure as you're doing this that you're not braiding it too, too tight because you don't want to cause any type of bumps and things in the nape. Just continuing that process all the way around the head. And just as we get to a braid, we're gonna go ahead and pick up. And I wanna go with uh, whichever piece feels like it has the least. So like right now it would be this piece. So as I go under the neck to get that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that piece with it. Now as I get up here, I'm starting to come up upon where her hair is coming from the front and from the back. So I'm gonna have to grab from both sides. So, grabbing from there, I'm just continuing to pick up hair as I go. There's basically whichever piece looks like it's coming next, I'm going to go ahead and pick up. And this is where that braid really begins to kind of thicken out. Eyes bothering you, baby? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, well, the hair's almost out of your eyes. Alright, we just continue that braid all the way across the top. Braiding on down and around. I want to make sure we get all of those strands on in there. And then once we finish braiding around there, I'm just going to go ahead and braid right on down. The nice thing is because we braided in a circle, I can now place this thicker portion of the braid right over that thinner portion of hair. Okay, now whenever I have loose ends, I don't like to just rubber band it like that. So what I always do is take that hair and fold it under. The reason why is because it doesn't allow the hair to kind of be out and frayed. It also prevents you from having split ends because you're not having to do quite as much wrapping with your rubber band. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple hairpins. We're just going to go ahead and bring it around, down and around pinning into the braid underneath and sliding on back. Down around and sliding on back. And we want to make sure it feels nice and snug like so. Now when we get up front, you guys can see we have the braided crown here. 
with these two pieces right up front. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab a rubber band. I've got two beads and I have a hairpin. You can see someone is sleepy. So we're gonna place our hairpin right on that hair and then just pinch, slide that bead right on. Same thing here, slide that bead right on. Just like so. I'm gonna drop my rubber band. Ugh. Put that down, please. And from there, we're just gonna go ahead, rubber band across that bottom portion. Just until it feels snug, you don't have to get crazy. And then slide that top bead on down. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look and all we need now is your favorite Christmas dress. You wanna put your favorite Christmas dress on? Yeah. All right, we'll change into that real quick. All right, see ya. All right, so you've got on your favorite Christmas dress. Yeah. Can you turn some so you can see your hair? Now, of course, to take a look at the little flyaways, we'll go ahead and put some foaming wrap and tie it down. And Zan, have you seen your hair? Do you want to see it? Yeah. Ooh. That's pretty. You like it? Mm hmm. Good deal. All right, well, we're at the end of the video, so what do you say? Thank you for watching. Bye, Glam Fam. Stay Glam. Bye. Have a Merry Christmas.